All right, gonna film a quick update video here for the lounge forum. A um, couple things have happened recently. I This is kind of part two of a what'll probably be a three-part um, series here. I mentioned in the first part, which I have not uploaded yet, I'm probably gonna upload these kind of simultaneously, um, but I've been um, kind of redoing my home office setup. And uh, I, I previously, in the first video, you'll see um, had a pair of audio engine, small kind of desktop speakers um, on this desk. And I, I didn't use them very frequently. Um, I would still find myself kind of like going to headphones for either not to disturb other people in the house with what I was listening to um, or whatever the case might be, or just ease of use. And uh, so I took them, put them somewhere else in the house and uh, been cleaning up the desk in preparation for... Um, I'm waiting for, I believe in June is the current target date, uh, LG is releasing a new 34 inch ultra wide 5K equivalent. It's not true 5K because it's ultra wide, but 5K equivalent re uh, resolution, ultra wide monitor um, that has a, uh, th that's designed to do everything over Thunderbolt 3 um, via USB-C cable. So at that point in time, I plan to purchase that, mount it on an arm at some point to the back wall of this desk setup and um, basically have one cable, you know, as a dock when I bring my laptop in to work in this room. Um, everything will be connected to the monitor. It has USB 3 outputs. It has, it has everything. It has uh, data, audio, kind of everything you would want it, it is a hub built into the monitor. Um, so I have cleaned up my desk. I have gotten the audio engine speakers out here to make a little bit more room. I did, um, this is a new purchase since, and this is what I was kind of talking about. Um, I did purchase the new, uh, well, relatively new, uh, Shit Audio Valley 2 and Modi multi-bit, uh, DAC on the bottom, amp on the top. Um, I actually had, uh, I don't think I have it anymore. I think I gave it away to somebody on the forum. Uh, I had the original Valley, uh, Volley, I don't know how you say it, um, amp, and it actually had, uh, it was uh, closed off on the top here. I think there was some vents, but um, you couldn't access the tube. It had a tiny mini tube inside there. And uh, you, you could, uh, I think maybe send it in for replacement, um, but it wasn't something that was designed to be, you know, for tube rolling. Um, so this is something that came out since then. Uh, one of the huge, huge positive differences, in my opinion, is there is no um, tube ring with this amp. Um, there was pretty bad tube ringing under certain circumstances with the original Valley. Um, in particular, if you didn't have your headphones plugged in and you plugged them in, that last kind of snap of the headphone, kind of click of the headphone going in would cause that tube to ring uh, quite a bit. Um, so that's a great setup. I love that setup. It's fairly inexpensive. Um, you know, depending on what you want to do, you wouldn't have to go with the multi-bit version, which is the most expensive um, Modi amp, uh, or sorry, DAC. Uh, you could go with one of the lower end ones. Um, it's a great kind of entry level setup. Um, some people would say, yeah, that's not entry level when you're talking about still spending, you know, a few hundred dollars. I think that might be like around $300 for the pair of them um, um, by the time you step up to the Modi uh, multi-bit. Uh, but anyway, um, and then I purchased these uh, headphones as well, which these are Mr. Speakers Aeon. Uh, and these are the closed version. Um, and I purchased these first. I've been using these quite a bit. These are a great, um, in my opinion, neutral reference. And I don't say reference as in like end game flagship, the, you know, the best headphone on the market. But I, I say reference as in, they're very neutral in, in presentation and frequency response. Um, so they can be a great reference to evaluate other headphones against. Um, they're very comfortable. Uh, they've got sort of memory foam, um, leather ear pads. Uh, they're great. There's been enough said about them. I don't need to cut, recover those. Uh, I did also pick up a, a second pair of headphones. Um, these are the AKG K7XX, uh, which if you're familiar of that sort of uh, XX naming convention. Those are a mass drop edition. So I think they're a um, mass drop special edition of uh, the AKG K701 or 702. I'm honestly not sure. 
Um, those are great headphones. They have, they're a nice kind of alternative. Um, they have kind of the velour ear cups. Again, uh, this is very memory foam, very perfect amount of give, like soft enough and, and it kind of forms once you've been wearing them for a few minutes. Um, very comfortable, very lightweight. Um, more plastic on these headphones than the Mr. Speakers, uh, but they're still very good. They're actually quite bassy, um, and, and they're an open headphone. You can see all of the uh, the grill work there. They're actually an open headphone versus the Mr. Speakers are closed back. They do make an open back version of this exact headphone, uh, but uh, these are the closed ones. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at today with this setup. Um, I did a little bit of a preview. I did order another pair of headphones from Mastrop. Um, it's their uh, Hi-Fi Man 400 series, uh, HE 400 series of headphones. Um, I've always kind of wanted to try the Hi-Fi Man. I've heard good things at the price point. They were pretty affordable, under $200. And um, the the uh, Mastrop edition solved one of the big uh, issues of those headphones, which is um, this has like a single-sided yoke on these Mr. Speakers. Hi, Hi Feynman has a similar yoke, but it, it comes around and goes on the other side as well. Um, on the standard edition, it's plastic and it is very prone to breaking. Um, it, it's kind of almost become an internet meme on, on like the headphone subreddit, for example. Uh, it's like one, every other day someone's on there complaining that their headphones broke after a couple months or whatever. So. Um, it uses kind of a metal band. It's not it's not um, like cast like this piece is. It's just a, a, a metal, um, just kind of a sheet metal bent into a yoke for those headphones. I'm kind of all over with the camera today. Uh, so it you know it'll solve the durability problem, um, and I'll be able to give them a chance and, and see what I think from a, a sound perspective. Um, that's about it today. This will be a short one. I'm going to have to spend some time. I haven't done a video in a while. I'm going to have to spend some time getting uh, the environment for video editing set back up, um, get this uploaded, and uh, you know, get a new intro created since it's uh, the website has changed. Um, I, I will just point out real quick, I've got the uh, video up here on my second monitor. Um, Tile from Inner Fidelity uh, announced, uh, well, the video went up about 24 hours ago. Uh, announced his retirement. Um, I, I haven't followed him closely. I've watched tons of his videos. Um, I don't post in the comment sections at, at Inner Fidelity, and I wasn't super active on, on Head5, namely because I run my own forum. Um, and, and so, you know, it's not, he wasn't somebody that I was, you know, had a ton of interactions with, but I have watched a lot of his video reviews, and uh, it was very interesting to me to hear his story. Um, it's like a 30 minute video he posted out there where he goes over kind of his reasons for stepping away, retiring a little bit earlier than he originally intended. Uh, and then also actually gives a walkthrough of, he, he's gonna live out of a, a step van, uh, kind of a, like what you see a FedEx truck, box truck that's a, a step up into the truck type of deal. Um, he's converted one into a tiny home and um, is gonna live out of that. And that is that was done early. And that was actually one of the big motivators for, for retiring early is because that was finished um, several years ahead of when he was expecting to retire. I think he was trying to hold out four more years. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, thanks to Tile and everything that he did with the headphone community, I think um, he, he truly was kind of one of the one of the godfathers of the headphone hobby and, um, you know, bringing better sounding headphones, better sounding portable audio, portable DAC amp types of things to the market originally. Um, with uh, with headroom and then you know from a reviewing perspective so congrats on your retirement and uh, good luck uh, that's it for me I'll sign off on this one and try to get both of these videos uploaded hopefully uh, head on over to the lounge l o u n j dot com uh, for more info.